this is not the behavior of a free country. What happened? No, it's not the behaviour of a free country, uh, Tucker, and I don't think it's possible to say that Australia right now is a functioning liberal democracy in many ways. The fact of the matter is the coronavirus has completely changed the relationship between government and citizen in this country. It has overwhelmed every check and balance in our system. It has uh, upended every single norm almost of democratic governance. Uh, this is uh, a radically new error that we've seen in Australia. We, as you have said, we have seen images of pol police uh, lunging at unarmed protesters in counter-terrorism equipment. We, we've seen during Melbourne protests that the, the police in my home state of Victoria asked the federal uh, civil aviation authorities to declare a no-fly zone over Melbourne so that commercial media outlets couldn't film the protesters in case people saw how big they were and went down and, and joined in uh, the protest and, and started marching as well. That is an extraordinary step for any government to take. The police censoring the broadcast media and it has been been in the main accepted. Um, opinion is changing now, 18 months later, but in the main, it has not raised the kind of protest that uh, we should have seen uh, because of the way in which our authorities here in Australia have instilled such fear into the population uh, about this virus. I, I wish we had more time, but quickly, are there any nationally known political leaders who are fighting back against this? There are a small number of libertarians in the state. There's one, uh, David Limbrick, in my state parliament of Victoria. But in the main, uh, in the main, no, there, are, there, there seems to be a bipartisan consensus on this uh, between both major parties. So uh, we, we remain in this holding pattern for some time. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any political will to end the situation uh, quickly. And in the meantime, as you said, we are, we are continually being uh, given this, we're becoming used to this idea that freedoms are not an inherent right. They are a, a gift from the government or a privilege that we get back in, in, in exchange for staying at home, following the rules, as they say in Australia, or as you said, getting vaccinated. It is a very, very bad precedent because even after Corona Tucker, we have to ask ourselves what the next emergency will be and well, the next one easy. after that. That's and exactly if it can happen right. in Australia, it can happen anywhere.